LJR. The Lord Jesus reigns. But it wasn't easy getting here. Sixteen years ago, we received a request from Moody Broadcasting to provide their consistent quality radio broadcasting into the Birmingham area. They informed us of a technology, a translator, whereby we could receive the signal from their station in Chattanooga, Tennessee, WMBW, and rebroadcast to the Birmingham area. We applied to the Federal Communications Commission and received a license for broadcasting via this method from Ruffner Mountain. However, after our broadcast began, we found that we were only getting adequate penetration into eastern Jefferson County. To serve that area, we have continued that broadcast until today. Having met with only limited success with the translator technology, we decided to obtain our own radio station or to support Moody in obtaining one. This effort began 10 years ago with our, our application for a license for channel 203A 88.5 on your FM dial, the last available frequency in the educational band in the Birmingham area. From that point, we could write a book on the number of obstacles that God has enabled us to overcome, including a competing application for our frequency, opposition by one of the local TV stations, and difficulties in locating a broadcast tower. And all of this while we raised the required capital funds by designated giving from those in the congregation who had a heart and a calling to help us with the project. Thank God that Dr. Barker and the session were always supportive and encouraged the staff to continue the pursuit. WLJR is now on the air 24 hours a day, seven days a week, transmitting the Moody Broadcasting Network. We receive Moody via satellite with a down leak located on the roof of the worship center. From there, the signal is carried by cable to the station located in the control center on the top floor of the sanctuary. From our station, we transmit by microwave to Oak Mountain, where we lease space on a tower for our broadcast antenna. The station can be received south of Red Mountain to Oak Mountain, from Irondale on the east to Pelham on the west. 85% of our congregation will be able to receive WLJR, and we are hopeful of extending this coverage. WLJR is a Moody affiliate, and most of our programming will be from the Moody Network. However, both of our Sunday morning worship services are broadcast live. The Media and Communications Committee will determine when it is appropriate to develop more of our own programming. Between programs, you will hear announcements about the church schedule, upcoming conferences, and other local activities that will be of interest to you. Stay tuned to WLJR. For the early years, Latrell Grayson, Briarwood's facilities director, played a key role in our efforts. Beginning in 1991 and until his leaving us last year, Dale Carroll worked diligently on the radio project. On Dale's departure, God blessed us with two James Huggins, James A., our TV radio manager, and his father, James W., a television and radio engineer. James W. volunteered his services and has worked like a Trojan for six months. Without the Huggins, we could not be on the air today. Also, we're indebted to Alan Kilgore, the MBN Regional Engineer, and we're very grateful for all of those who have prayed and contributed financially to make WLJR a reality. Stop by the Information Center. Get a supply of WLJR program guides. Give them to your neighbors and your coworkers. Pray that God will enable us to accomplish our mission to glorify God by providing consistent quality radio programming to the Briarwood congregation and the community.